Hello and thanks for joining me. I'm Johnny. Today I want to go over the things you need to know about staking Ethereum in the United States on Coinbase and Kraken. So please like and subscribe. Uh, first I want to start with Coinbase. Now here is the Ethereum price chart page on Coinbase. Normally you would see an option down here to join the waitlist for Ethereum 2.0 staking but I already have so this learn more option is what shows. Now you can join the waitlist from here normally on the app uh, to be considered to stake. Now when we click here this pop up shows the general points to consider and we will cover those. Uh, there is a link here to learn more. Let's review what you need to know. Alright, so currently Coinbase is readying the feature of staking and you can join the waitlist to be one of the individuals gradually added to staking rewards. Are there risks for staking ETH? Coinbase will cover these risks at no extra cost, for lack of better words, ensures everything they have so they do cover the risks. Uh, what are the rewards of staking ETH? Uh, you may earn between 3 to 7.5% reward on any ETH that you stake. Uh, this is governed by the network payout scale and the fees charged by the validator. Now I want to show you here. This is the payout scale graph on launchpad.ethereum.org and it shows the current payout at 8.6% with a little over 3.3 million ETH locked on the network currently. That percentage will continue to slope off as more are staked so earlier someone stakes the larger the reward. Here it shows where it was and will be based on total ETH state. See it ends at 4.5% and it started at 21.6 and it just kind of gradually slopes down. You will get a fraction of the total percentage going through a validator like Coinbase or Kraken as they take a percentage. Coinbase currently offers 7.5%. APY to its users so they are taking approximately 1.1% for themselves as a fee. Okay, so is there a staking minimum? While staking on your own requires 32 ETH, there are no minimums to stake on Coinbase. When this feature is available, you can start staking any amount of ETH. Will I be able to use my funds while I'm staking ETH? You will temporarily be unable to trade, send, or sell the amount you have staked. Later this year, we anticipate releasing an update which will allow you to sell, trade, and send your funds while they are staked. This update could be a tokenization of ETH2 similar to what Kraken has done. Tokens representing your holdings could be awarded with equal value for trade, but that is not for sure without any further details from Coinbase. Note the Kraken version of tokenized ETH2 is not available in the US. More on that later. How do I start staking ETH on Coinbase? Well, you just need to join the waitlist. How long will I be on the waitlist? We'll notify you on your Coinbase account when this feature is available. Uh, this will most likely be an email received as well as they tend to send out emails. And what regions are eligible for ETH staking? Uh, currently the US excluding New York and Hawaii residents is eligible to join the ETH staking waitlist. We'll send a notification when the feature becomes available in more regions. Now that's most of what they have shown here. Now to touch on the amount of time that your ETH will be locked, uh, it is said right now that ETH could be locked between two to three years depending on how long it takes for ETH 2.0 to launch and that is when your funds will be released. And that covers the main points on Coinbase. Now let's take a look at Kraken. Okay, so here is the staking dashboard page on Kraken. We see this annual percentage shown for ETH of 5 to 17 percent. We'll read further and find out the actual current percentage. 
here. Uh, this is a general overview staking guide for Kraken, and I've highlighted and notated the parts pertaining to ETH 2.0 staking specifically. Alright, so you will start earning rewards instantly as soon as you stake them on the platform. ETH will pay out weekly, so that means you'll be added to your staking total weekly on Kraken. And ETH is not currently available to unstake, so it does have the same rules as the Coinbase ETH did with the 2.0 release. Uh, staking Ethereum will be removed from your trading and equity balances while staked. Uh, if you are familiar with staking on Kraken, there is two balances shown on the left panel, your spot and your staking balance. Your staked ETH will show under the staked balance and you cannot use it any longer for margin trading. Now getting into the reward schedule here, your ETH rewards, uh, this payout date and time that the compounding interest will be added to your balance on each week so this is showing that it will be paid out on Sundays starting at 1.30 UTC so that's when your compounding interest would be paid into your balance and for fees for ethereum staking due to the specific network rollout and complexity kraken retains an administrative fee from earned staking rewards and provides clients variable reward rates see here for more details so we're going to take a look at this second article from kraken where they just provide a little more in-depth info here and first bit here understand that unlike regular proof-of-stake protocol staked ETH and ETH staking rewards will be locked until the Ethereum 2.0 network upgrade is complete this transition is expected to evolve over multiple phases and may take several years to complete or may never be completed Kraken has no control whatsoever over this process in the event the ETH2 network upgrade is delayed or cannot be completed, you may be unable to access, withdraw, or transfer your assets on-chain indefinitely. So this is the same rule as Coinbase with the ETH being locked till the 2.0 release and a stern warning really enforcing the crypto rule, don't invest anything you are not prepared to lose. But with that ETH's popularity, it likely will be finished at some point. It's very unlikely that they won't finish it. Uh, reward rates are currently estimated between 5% and 17% annually, but rewards will vary according to the rules of the Ethereum protocol. Kraken retains an administrative fee of 15% on all rewards received and the estimated RPY reflects this fee. So if you're getting a total of 8.6% currently on-chain for your ETH as shown earlier on the graph, Kraken will keep about 1.29% leaving you with 7.31% return. And that's really similar to Coinbase's promised return of 7.5%. Now, what is the meaning of the ETH, ETH 2.S, and ETH 2 ticker symbols on Kraken? These are some symbols that are being added with the new ETH staking being added. Uh, ETH, the ETH ticker on Kraken represents regular ETH, ETH on the Ethereum blockchain that has never been staked nor earned as staking rewards. So that's just your normal ETH and will stay that way. Now we have this ETH 2.S. The ETH 2.S ticker on Kraken represents ETH that has been staked to support the ETH2 network upgrade. Clients that are not located in or citizens or residents of the US or Canada may transact on Kraken's ETH2.S slash ETH market when that market is made available. Otherwise, ETH2.S cannot be unstaked, deposited, or withdrawn. So they're just saying there that anyone inside the US, uh, any kind of citizens here or Canada cannot use that system. Uh, the ETH2 ticker on Kraken represents ETH that is earned as staking rewards through ETH2 staking. ETH2 cannot be staked, deposited, traded, or withdrawn. Alright, what is the ETH2.S and ETH market on Kraken? Uh, Kraken's ETH2.S ETH market allows eligible clients to buy into and sell out of staking positions on the Ethereum network. It functions in the same manner as any other order book on Kraken, except that instead of trading one asset for another on the ETH2S ETH market client trade, unstaked ETH for staked ETH. 
The differential between the two types of ETH can be expected to reflect a discount on ETH that is staked and locked in the Ethereum protocol, generating staking rewards versus ETH that is not staked and freely transferable. So there they're just telling you kind of what the differences in price may end up being between ETH2.S and regular ETH and how that will affect trading. And uh, two important caveats about the ETH2S ETH market. The market will not be available for users located in or residents of the citizens of the US or Canada. These clients can stake ETH but not trade their staked ETH or unstaked ETH. We offer no guarantees of any kind about the continued availability or liquidity of this market. This market may not be available for the duration of the Ethereum 2.0 transition. So, in the end, with Coinbase offering 7.5% and Kraken working out to 7.31%, and both exchanges offering some form of tokenization of staked ETH value, the main difference is that Coinbase may offer these staked ETH assets for trading to U.S. citizens, whereas Kraken explicitly states they will not. So, uh, this little bit here I read about the ETH 2.S ETH market on Kraken gives you kind of an idea how it will probably work with Coinbase. Just like I said, the difference there being that Kraken will not be offering it to the US versus Coinbase most likely will. And with that, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.